Today we will be uh, specifically talking about three ways of how you can trade, invest and hedge your positions on the cryptocurrency market with all of these instruments that we have at Beatscap. So uh, an all-in-one platform to unite all of your exchange accounts to trade futures, to automate your trading with automated bots and an ordinary spot trading. So everything is here. So we will go through all of these instruments that we have. And I will also provide you with some tips and clues regarding automated bots, risk management, focal principles, and some other tips as well. So let's start. And we will start with the spot trading and basically the one that we have on a recently updated dashboard. So I will show you how to quickly uh, make trade decisions, how to quickly analyze the market so that to enter the market in time because on the cryptocurrency market, volatility can be insane sometimes. And that's why we don't want to waste time and that's why it is really important to make decisions quickly. So let's go straight to the platform. So yeah, that's the uh, new dashboard layout that you see once you log in and once you press the uh, switch to the beta mode. Right now I'm on the beta mode and you can always switch back to the stable version as far as we are in the beta mode, but soon this will no longer be an option and we will be trading on this fresh layout as the one you see right now uh, on the screen. So as I always start with, on the left side you have what I call the uh, analytics and the data you need to analyze the uh, buying and selling pressure on the market. So that's the uh, order book. Here is everything pretty straightforward, simple to understand. So no need to explain further how the order book works. So below you have recent trades just to see what is the, once again, the buying and selling uh, order flow right now on the market. And the one that we have at the very bottom of the left side of the screen is what I call the buying and selling pressure uh, indicator, which is basically uh, providing us with an information regarding uh, of whether bulls or bears on the market right now are winning. So it's clearly that within the period of one minute, the buying pressure is severe. So that means it's like, three times more than the selling pressure. But in general, if we look at the period starting from one minute up to the possible one of 30 minutes, you will see that the uh, selling pressure is actually uh, bigger. So that basically means what for this cryptocurrency that I have, that's, that's comp trading to USDT, some traders, they are fixing their profits as you see this market was rising steadily so if we switch to let's say bitcoin to well actually i'm fed up with bitcoin maybe let's use ethereum this time so let's let's be let's be unique this time ethereum usdt so for ethereum usdt what we have is that the buying pressure here is well it exceeds the selling pressure and that is the primary indicator that the uh, currently rising trend is steady, all right, and most likely it will reach the uh, resistance level at which we will see some resistance and selling pressure, of course, and hopefully it will breach the resistance level. Until now, we are having a quite strong bullish momentum here, so most likely it will reach this very top point of the uh, resistance all right 
So that's the way of how you can use the left side of the dashboard, which provides you this uh, analytics. And of course, you have in the center, you have the uh, chart. You can apply indicators. You can apply, uh, well, whatever you need, like Fibonacci retracement levels. So all the tools here at your disposal depending on your uh, trading style and what are the tools you prefer. When it comes to the technical analysis, all the tools are here for you. So no need to use the uh, TradingView uh, platform as, uh, well, basically you have this TradingView over here, so no need to open TradingView. That's just no need in this case because everything is already plotted here. And of course, now we go to the right side, that's the decision-making side. And here you have an ordinary limit order where you can have the buy limit or the sell limit order. That's basically the order which allows you to buy crypto at a specified price which you set. So as soon as the market reaches this target price, it executes the trade. And until that, it just stays in the order book. And as soon as the market reaches this price level, then it will be filled. All right. So that's the way it works. And remember that for the limit orders, uh, when you use them, you are the market maker and cryptocurrency exchanges, they treat well market makers. And that's why you have to pay uh fewer fee compared with the market order because when it comes to the market order for this type you have to pay an increased fee because of the priority that you get here so that's the first priority order so if you want to enter or exit the market instantly then in this case market order is for you you can instantly sell the crypto or you can instantly buy the crypto so you will basically uh, act as a market taker because you take the liquidity instantly from the market and that's why you pay a bigger fee in this case so with limit and market orders everything is clear what i want to show you here is the way you can calculate your uh, projected return and projected loss based on take profit levels so take profit stands for the price level at which you expect the market to uh, basically lock in profits. All right. So assume that you want to buy Ethereum at current price. Let's say, okay, for this exchange, I have no funds. Let's actually switch to the demo mode and let's go to yeah Binance. Ethereum, where is it? Okay, so here it is. So once again, the price 25%. So that's going to be 159 USDTs. So let's assume that I expect the market to reach at least 630. And notice that the system automatically calculates, so let it be 635. The system automatically uh, calculates what is the profit in this case. So that's going to be 2.9% of the profit. You can also play with the profit. So no need to set the target price. You can set the profit. Let's say you want 4% uh, of the profit and it will automatically calculate the price at which this uh, profit is achievable. So that's 642 in this case. Then you can add... Uh, multiple take profit levels and by that you just spread the uh, risk all right so for having five orders in total you just may basically let the system to lock in profits as the market is rising step by step all right and the way you can set them is once again with the profit column here let's say you want seven percent then after ten percent and the last one at twelve percent so as soon as it rises by twelve percent from the uh, entry point 
this will be your last take profit and for this trade uh, if all of these take profit levels are triggered by the market then your projected profit is going to be exactly 11.81 USDT all right and when it comes to the stop loss it works the same way so it just calculates the the percentage of the loss let's say you want to for this trade for the uh, potential of 11.81 USDT you want to risk no more than five dollars so you just have to play with the number in this case so what's yeah so you see approximately to risk only uh, five five dollars for the uh, profit potential of eleven dollars your stop loss must be at the price of 596 all right and that's the uh, focal principle of uh, portfolio management and basically risk management because your return to risk ratio must be bigger than one because otherwise there is no sense to take a bigger risk for a, for a minimum profit all right so you see that here profit exceeds like by twice almost whereas if you would have the projected profit let's say ten dollars and risk twenty dollars then this is not a wise trade all right so consider other options to trade all right because it makes literally no sense to risk twice as much as you would otherwise get from this trade so that's the basic principle of risk management and here with this instrument you can always pre-calculate the potential profit and potential uh, risk for this particular trade and then you just have to click on buy and it will automatically plot all of these uh, levels so it will plot take profit and limit buy order so let's play with it by Ethereum so you see you get instantly the notification you will find your position in uh, open orders which is over here you see the exact price the amount and if you click on the plus button here you will find all of these take profit and stop loss orders which you can by the way cancel or you can click on the pencil over here and you can make adjustments so as far as the price is trading above our trigger price which is 605 we still have time to make adjustments if we need to do these adjustments and that's the way of how you can do this you can also cancel out the take profit and stop loss if you think that you no longer need them all right but i actually strongly recommend you to trade with the stop loss just to be sure that your risk is limited to a certain level and you never risk a hundred percent of your total balance all right and yes so that's what it takes to initiate limit order with the stop limit order everything is also crystal clear we don't want to explain this today i want to show you another one which we just added well not just it was added like maybe a month ago the uh, tvap order so the tvap order and let's use another coin let's use how usdt the tvap like the concept of this order is to sell or buy the crypto proportionately within a certain period of time so let's say I want to sell 4,000 others within the period of 6 hours with 50 orders. So the question is, why would I do this? Why would I split my uh, sell on 50 orders? All right, so let's actually use a bigger number, which would make more sense. So the TVAP order is 
like a cool feature like it's a cool instrument for those cryptocurrencies that are uh, th that have the capitalization uh, comparatively uh, low with Bitcoin or Ethereum. So let's say below uh, 50 million, below 10 million of capitalization. So these are uh, highly illiquid coins. So that means if you have a big stake in this coin, let's say 35,000, most likely with one trade, if you would go market sell, you would create, I mean, you would significantly affect the market and your average uh, sell price would be not as high as you would expect it to be. So you would end up somewhere uh, selling at this price, most likely because of the illiquidity. So that's the candle that you would create uh, on the highly illiquid coin. That's why you don't want this to happen, and that's why you split this big chunk of your uh, stake by 40, uh, sorry, 50 orders. And within 6 hours, it will execute 50 sell orders, and by that, you will smoothly uh, sell this entire position without significantly affecting the market. And in this case, your... Uh, average price at which you sold this coin is going to be way higher than if you would sell it with one market sell order all right and same applies if you want to buy a big portion like you want to buy a big stake or a highly illiquid coin uh, without affecting it significantly because you always want to buy at the highest price possible and you want to buy something at the lowest price possible. And with the TVAP, if you have, uh, if you have like a big, uh, big pocket, all right. So you have a lot of cash, and you want to diversify your portfolio with illiquid coins. Then it can be the case that TVAP is what you are actually looking for to make sure that your average buy price and your average sell price is optimal. All right. So that's how you use the Tiva. Okay, so I see that Chandra Morgan is telling me that the view is different on his main page. So yeah, maybe you entered the room later as, as we started. Well, you have to click on the avatar here and you will see this star. And by clicking on it, you will automatically switch to the beta mode, the one I'm actually using right now. So that's how you switch to this uh, view. So, okay, that's enough with the TVAP. Another cool feature that we have is the balance. And in the balance, you now can click on the cryptocurrency instantly, and it will show you the list of all uh, cryptocurrencies to which you can trade this crypto, to which you can buy or sell this crypto. And that saves some time, all right? Because otherwise you would go like this, you would have to type in Bitcoin to see all of the pairs to which it is trading, whereas here, instantly you get this list so it saves three four seconds and on the cryptocurrency market even three or four seconds they can be vital all right so <clears throat> that's basically what i wanted to show you on this new uh, dashboard open orders cluster clear positions so so far these are my open trades you see that was actually the sample trade that I initiated you see the exact date when I initiated this trade so all information is here you will find your order history as well here to calculate I mean to analyze your trades to find where did you make mistakes and which trades you should avoid which trades you should uh, trade at which you are good at so this allows you to analyze your uh, winners and losers, all right? So it can be the case that you are better at trading Bitcoin comparing with trading with uh, altcoins. And you will find this information as you analyze your positions, your order history. So that's how you use these uh, columns here, all right? So now let's move on and i will present to you quickly futures trading 
So just to quickly remind you that for futures trading, you must have a new API key to trade. So right now we have futures trading enabled on Binance Exchange. So all you have to do is just to create a brand new API key, but this time make sure that you edit restrictions and you have the uh, cross at enabled futures, all right? So you have you 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 have enabled futures. Otherwise, wouldn't be possible to trade futures. So once again, step one, you go to Binance. Step two, create API key. Step three, edit restrictions, enable futures, and step four, you add API key and secret key right here uh, where we have my exchanges. And you just add exchange yeah so here the way it works so that's my ordinary binance and that's my binance futures in this case even though the same exchange but since the accounts are different there because you know that on binance futures uh, the account is uh, is separate from the uh, spot exchange so that's why you have to have two apis in this case all right so let's now go back and continue with our presentation and i will show you futures trading so with the futures trading uh you see i already have some open trades comp trading to usd and 0x you see the exact leverage that i have here and the size the entry price the current pnl as well as the uh, profit, and that's actually the return calculated to the equity. So since this is a leverage trade, so I took the margin to tr to open this position. That's why my my profit here is two hundred and thirty two percent. All right, and most importantly, you see the liquidation price. So that's the price at which. If the market goes in the opposite direction as you predicted, it will automatically, I mean, the exchange will automatically uh, liquidate. It will, it will close your position, all right? That's because it is a margin trading. And in margin trading, uh, it, it is implied that you basically borrow the money to open larger trades. So the bigger is the leverage, the more risk you take, like the more borrowed money you take from the market. And that's why the uh, dependence on the liquidation price and your available margin here is significantly increased in this case. So make sure that you fully understand the mechanism of the leverage trading and what it takes to take, like to borrow money uh, when trading uh, futures. All right. Uh, so yeah, that's the interface, and you see that it's now zero percent margin ratio. So the bigger the number, like if it's gonna be close to hundred percent, then it means that my uh, how to say that my position is very close to liquidation. So right now it's zero percent. Everything is is fine in this case. The difference from the cross over here and isolated mode is the same as on Binance, all right? So nothing new here. The cross is you basically risk your entire balance to initiate the trade. And isolated, you just have the limited margin for each trade. So you will never lose more than the, spe uh, like the specific amount that you uh, that you, you you set on this trade all right so for this one for comp i have the cross margin which means i risk my entire balance of 153 usdt and in zero x i have isolated mode and that means that i will not lose more than this amount and i can always actually uh, add some funds to uh, change the liquidation, all right, to make my gap wider, all right, so that's the idea. Um, what else, what else should I show you here? 
Okay, so I will not focus on the specifications of this post only time force. That's like you can all read it here and play with it in any case because uh, it really takes time for you to find your own strategy and what is like the optional way for you to uh, close the trades. And the only thing for you to remember here is if you want to uh, initiate the trade, all right, so make sure that your reduce only is not on. So when it is off like this, you initiate a new trade. When you use the reduce only, it will plot a limit sell or limit buy order for your already existing uh, trade. So for example, I have, you see, comp here. And for comp, I already have the uh, stop limit at the price of uh, 89, sorry, 98. <laughs> 98 yeah which is right over here and the way i've created it is just using the reduce only all right and same for the take profit which is right over here and i use the same reduce only for this trade so as soon as the price reaches either this level hopefully because over here is my profit but it can also reach the stop loss here where it will automatically close the trade all right so nothing new here all of the order types they are originated from the uh, spot market so nothing actually new here except the fact that you have to understand the cross and isolated mode so you can read about it here more and of course what it takes to trade uh, with margin and what are the risks in this case and i highly recommend you i urge you to use this stop loss the way i use it here in the comp example so my take profit is over here and my stop loss is here so stop loss is 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 a must all right just to have just to have a better sleep hope you understand me so now let's go on and finally well, actually my favorite topic here is automated trading with ai algorithms that we have here at beatsgap and i will show you uh, the tools like the statistical tools that you can use to uh, create your own unique strategies and before actually executing these strategies you can backtest them to see the potential return you can use also other metrics that I will show you to uh, estimate your average uh, like daily potential return. And basically, I will provide you with some of uh, these strategies like ready-made setups for uh, automated bots to use both for the spot and uh, auto bot strategies. So let's go to bot section over here and you will find that the there is a chart here as well because otherwise it would be hard to to execute automated algorithms without actually seeing the chart and i will switch to the uh, demo mode and the demo mode stands for the risk free trading simulator where i have virtual money to trade with and that's a very cool thing because with virtual money I can experiment a lot before risking my real capital, all right? So all the trades you see here, these are sample trades that I most likely launched uh, during the last webcast. Mm, you might be as well familiar with them already if you participated in previous webcasts. So, so far, you see, that's the uh, trade action of my automated bot. And for newcomers, I will quickly remind what is the uh, idea of automation at BeatsGap. So, what is the, the, uh, the logic behind the scheme? So, the idea is that we have a trading range defined by the highest sell price and lowest buy price. And within this trading range, the bot is trading on our behalf it 
it, it I mean it looks for the opportunities to buy low and sell high. And to do that, there are grid levels within this trading range. Or in simple words, these are our limit sell red lines and limit buy orders. So that's limit, uh, sorry, green green lines in this case. So assume that the price reaches 11,500, the, the, the bot will sell the base currency and the base currency stands for the first ticker you see in pair and takes the quote currency from the market. All right, so that's the example of Bitcoin trading to USDT. That's why we cash out with USDT. And a portion of this cash out is then taken to plot a new buy order. And by that, we ensure an almost never lasting process of trading, of like a constant extraction of profits from the market. All right. And the difference here, you see, 11,000 is what 500 is what we take from the market. We take then 11,250 to create a new order. And the difference is, in this case, the bot profit. All right. So that's a quick reminder of what it takes. I mean, what is the logic behind our bots and what is the idea here? So how we uh, um, accumulate profit in this algorithm. So let's go back straight here. And so, yeah, green circles, these are buy orders executed. Red circles, these are sell orders executed. On the right side, you have the column, which stands for decision-making process where you have to select your strategy and many traders and investors who've been using Bitscan for quite a long time they are still asking what is the like the primary difference between the as bot and the classic bot and i think that finally i came up with the best explanation when it is best time to use the as bot and the classic bot so stay with me uh, so that's actually the uh, classic bot it always buys and sells the same amount of the base currency and that's why investment with the price level varies so when the market is rising it's gonna buy the same amount and of course when the market is rising the price is bigger and that means that to buy the same amount of the base currency it would require bigger investment and here is the calculation. You see the, mark, the the price is rising here and the investment in this case is rising. And that's, and that's why the classic bot uh, strategy is the best option for the rising market. All right. Because by that, you end up with a bigger investment in the, in the coin and you participate in the rally more. Whereas when it comes to the as bot, it buys uh, the different amount of the base currency with each price level to ensure the parity in investment. So the investment value per each level, per each price level is the same. All right. So that's why as bot is the best option to trade on the sideways market. And if the market is falling, then as bot is also the better performer than the classic bot because of the cost average effect as it invests only the same amount of the base currency on each price level. And when it comes to the classic bot, so you see, once again, the sideways market and on this sideways market, the performance of the as bot and that was actually xrp trading to usdt was 0.9 percent within the period of only three days whereas the classic bot has only generated 0.57 percent on this sideways market so when you see these swings forming sideways or a falling market then the as bot strategy will almost by twice and sometimes even more it will outperform the classic strategy all right but when it comes to the rising market 
because of the uh, built-in investment logic of the classic bot it will always outperform the as bot and here's the example with the same xrp usdt you see rising market and within the period of four days as bot generated 53 percent all right whereas the classic bot generated on this same period on this same crypto you see same range same uh, cryptocurrency it generated 70 percent of the profit so that's you see by uh, 17 percent it outstrips the as bot all right so that's something for you to to keep in mind as a rule when you expect that the market is about to to breach the resistance line it is about to continue the rally to establish a new higher high then stick with the classic strategy whereas when you expect the movement like this sideways like you see more or less sideways then s bot is exactly what you are looking for here so let's use the example with the s bot and notice that i already have the system uh, which automatically assigns the trading range and you don't have to actually stick with it you can always change the upper price lower price to set your own trading range so maybe you are trading from the support and resistance line so that's maybe the case for you to set your lower price at the level of resistance sorry support and your upper price on the level of resistance in this case so you have the pair here which you can choose you can manually change the upper and lower price but I strongly recommend you to do this on the uh, chart here and because it really takes less time compared with manual setup and the grid quantity which you can also set is here so the the idea of the grid amount so the more you plot like the amount of limit orders the more investment here is required in this case and for for having more grid levels your grid spacing is going to be reduced and that means that the marginal profit is going to be also reduced but since there is there are so many grid levels this uh, this effect of the reduced grid, the grid spacing is offset by the number of trades in total so you will still end up with a decent return by the end of the month all right and you can always backtest strategies by clicking on backtesting so what would be the performance of this uh, configuration with 160 grid levels on this uh, cryptocurrency pair within the period of the last month let's say so let's select from the 3rd of november until today and you will find the exact performance of the bot so that's 14 percent over here let's compare it with 40 grid levels where you have grid spacing increased so your profit like margin profit here is almost by three or actually four times bigger than we had so let's see the difference again from the 3rd of november until today and you see the result is 30 percent here so yeah, definitely here it has outstripped this uh, setup that we initially had. But in other cases, let it's actually it actually depends depending on the cryptocurrency that you select. And uh, and the way you use this system is by finding the the, the proper cryptocurrency for you to trade. So if you see that for AGI to Bitcoin on the sideways market, the trading setup with 40 grid levels works better than with 160 grid levels, then that's the case for the AGI to have this optimal setup with only 40 grid levels. Okay, but keep in mind that the fewer grid levels you have, let's say for 
the wider your uh, space between limit orders becomes and that means that there are less chances for the market to uh, trigger all of these limit orders because you see how like how strongly the market has to swing to execute all of these limit orders whereas when it comes to in like more numbers like more grid levels like this this is what I call scalping the market that's the highest frequency possible here and that means that with almost every price tick you get a trade from the market because your orders are so like they are so tightly uh, located to each other they are like the 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 spacing is so narrow that the market well the bot will trade like crazy for you all right it will take uh, less return than compared with 40 grid levels but it will trade more and this like in many cases it, it offsets the fact of reduced like the grid quantity yeah well the um, navy 2k is telling that the those bot profits are so high that it seems you can become millionaire in some years well you have to keep in mind that the profit you see here is the profit generated by the bot in the quote currency so you see agi trading to bitcoin so the profit is going to be generated in bitcoins but it can be the case that agi at this time will will drop and this will affect your overall return and that's why we have investment change metric and bot profit metric all right and that's why they differ because the bot profit takes into account only the profit generated in the quote currency because regardless of the market direction the bot is able to execute trade because uh, sorry to extract profits because what is required is just for the market to swing and it doesn't matter in which direction upside sideways or uh, downside as far as it swings it creates these tiny opportunities for the bot to buy low and sell high all the time but as far as you have the base currency in the trade then the base currency value can be affected on the falling trend all right so even though let's assume uh, let me delete all of my pieces of art over here so assuming the trend is falling in this case your base currency is falling so its value depreciates whereas the bot still generates profits in the quote currency and that's why you always get the quote on your balance so that's the plus and this plus effect as the bot generates profits on the falling market it always offsets the negative value change of the base currency all right so even though you see that the profit here is, like generated is 30 percent it can be that during this period the, the value of the base currency has also affected your total investment and you end up somewhere in 25%, let's say. So that's something for you to keep in mind. And, and that's why these automated bots, they, they are perfect at the sideways market and on the rising market, all right? And even if the market is falling, Automated bots, they still outperform a simple hodl strategy because of the cost average effect. As it always buys, as the price dips, you end up with the lower price you've entered the market than if you would just use a simple hodl strategy. And I actually have some cases for you to show you exactly how automated bots, they uh, outperform the simple hodl strategy on the sideways and uh, falling markets, all right? So let's use it maybe another chart. Let's use uh, Aqua Trading to Bitcoin. So yeah, we now have selected the strategy. Actually, let's use another one. By the way, if you don't know which crypto to trade, you can use recommendations. They are based on the 
uh, backtest results, the one I just shown you. So these are top performers in terms of the bot profit generated. So you might consider them at least based on this metric to trade today. So let's use CVC to Bitcoin. Let's make some quick adjustments like this. Let's use, let's say, 40 grid levels. Investment you set over here. And you see the exact amount that will be uh, invested here and exact uh, allocation of your assets. So you see, as far as you have sell orders, that's why you must have base currency already. And you have also buy limit orders. So that means you must have enough of the uh, quote currency, all right? So in order to sell something, you must have it on your balance. So that's why you need CVC at the time of launching the bot. And in order to buy something, you must have the quote currency to buy CVC here. So that's the way of how you uh, analyze your configuration. The wider your uh, sell range is, the more base currency is required here. So let's click on start the bot. It will automatically ask me to buy this amount of CVC because it might be the case that you don't have this amount on your balance at the time of initiating the bot and it will automatically buy it at the market price here you you don't actually have to stick with this uh, note you can go to trading here and you can uh, manually buy this amount of CVC with the limit by order to pay a uh, uh, a fewer fee in this case, but if you are in a rush and you don't have this time, then this can be an option to, to market buy it with this recommendation. And here we go. You get the notification. Yeah, so here we go. The market order placed. Uh, yeah, well, that's for some reason was an error here, but still we end up with the trade. So that was the, the bag, I think which I will instantly report as soon as we finish this webcast. So here we go. This is our trade. You see it is active and all information is provided, metrics. So for some trades that I already have here, I can analyze the, the profit generated on a daily basis. So that's the way you look at the chart. And, and you see, at glance, like at first glance, it looks like the average return on this trading configuration for rent to BDC, the one that I have, with this exact investment sum, with the amount of grid levels that I have and the grid spacing of 0.5%, you can expect at least on a daily basis this on average. You see that? So that's the way of how you look at the average daily return that you can generate at a glance. Of course, sooner we will add these metrics, like they will be fully automatically calculated. So you will see not only the bot profit, but the uh, daily average return. And maybe, maybe we will also add this uh, metric to see what is the uh, deviation from the uh, from the mean. Okay. So some metrics will all will be provided because we are always working on better optimization and working on adding new metrics so that you could analyze your performance even better. So, so far it looks like this. Uh, about statuses you can read in the uh, blog. We have the out of range, we have pump protection, we have active. So. No need to explain this during this webcast because you can read this uh, in the blog that we have. We have samples provided. So yeah, let's stick with the presentation and see what else I can show you today. So I, I didn't actually want to show this one. Let's go directly to... Uh, yeah, so I wanted to show you how exactly automation outstrips the simple sideways and falling market. So here's the example of, okay, my, my fault once again, this one. Mm, slideshow from current slide. Let's 
or what? Okay, so never mind this one. You say that's the example of Bitcoin Cash trading to USDT, and you see I have this arrow pointing at this specific price here. So let's assume that this is the price at which you would just buy Bitcoin Cash, and until this price level, you would be up by five percent only. So that's simple hodl strategy here, five percent of the return. Whereas when it comes to automation, you have the bot trading on all of these swings. You see all of these circles on the chart. So all the time here, it has been extracting profits from the market. And that's why you end up with automation with a return of 14%, comparing with a hodl strategy where you would only get 5%. So that's like the perfect example to demonstrate how automation at BitGap here, it outstrips an ordinary HODL strategy, all right? So if you have as bot on a sideways, it will perfectly generate profits on your behalf 24-7, uh, just following the market, just, just executing these trades each time the market swings. So you, you end up with a decent return, all right? So that's 14% compared with 5%. So that's how it outstrips a simple hodl strategy. And I actually had somewhere this example with the falling market. And for some reason, I don't have it in today's presentation. But yeah, well, for sure, next time I will show you. But you already uh, it's, it's already crystal clear that even on the falling market, when the bot extracts profit, these profits, they will offset the negative value change of the base currency. So you end up with a better return, same as on the sideways here, all right? And by the way, a commission is actually taken into account uh, because when you see this grid spacing, let's say 2.91%, the... Uh, the I mean the exact spacing actually is bigger because in this number the the fee is already uh, taken into account, all right. So in reality, it's not two point ninety one percent. It is somewhere around three point one percent or something grid spacing. The reason why we show you two point ninety one percent is because the fee is already priced in here. And you don't have to worry in this case. So as far as you can launch the board, it means that everything is all right. And you never end up with the fees paid being uh, bigger than your total return. All right. So that's not the case here. And to see what are the fees paid, let's click on any trade I have here. View, executed orders. You see fee, they, they are already priced in. They are paid. I have some uh, trades with, uh, let me see the grid spacing, I think somewhere over here. You see grid spacing 0.13%, all right? But I still here, no, 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 not this one, this, yeah. So you see, I end up with a positive return, you see? So that's why you don't have to worry about the commission anymore. It is already priced in. The profit you see, it's like the the pure profit. It's the net profit which goes directly uh, to your balance. I hope now you uh, get this idea and you will no longer worry about the fees and all of these structural uh, expenses because everything is already priced in in the system here and calculated on your behalf. So yeah, that's the way you use this uh, configuration panel. We also have instruments like take profit, stop loss. They are the same as for the uh, spot market. So as soon as the, no, actually I'm wrong. The take profit here works only for the investment change. So as soon as the investment change, let's say reaches 15%, uh, it will automatically uh, close the trade. So it will sell all of the base currency in the trade and it will also close all of the uh, open limit orders. 
because for instance for ing to usdt you see i have 100 open orders so as soon as it reaches my take profit target it will close all of the left open orders on the uh, on the exchange uh, we also have the stop loss so that's the level below which we can no longer afford trading so that's where the bot will also close trading it will sell all of the base currency and it will cancel open orders and you can set it manually as well you can drag it here like this well when it comes to the trailing up instrument that's the instrument that we have uh, so that the trading range follows the market rally so I have the quick tutorial here as well mm. so how do I start from from current yeah so that's the initial trading range we played with and let's assume the market rises and it establishes new higher high like this so in a simple configuration where you have system without trading up so like so basically your trading up is off uh, in the in this case you would get stuck in this trading range but when you have your trailing up on then the system like the trading range will automatically follow the market like this assume it establishes new higher high then what happens exactly it will follow the market like this but what if the price breaches the support line and we remember the rule that the bot is only trading for us as soon as the price stays within the trading range well in this case it will not trade here because you see the price is below the trading range and it will continue trading only if the price reverts back within the area of our trading range like over here what if it establishes a new higher high like this it will follow the market like this as well so that's why it is called trailing up because it only follows the market up and it never follows the market down all right that's what we have here and with this instrument you can have a stable participation on the market rally so even if you let's say if you have some other things to do and you are no longer monitoring the market when you have the algorithm with the trading up and the market uh, starts crazy like it starts rising like crazy it breaches the resistance line of your initial trading range it still will follow the market all right so you see initially my trading setup was here but as I have had this trailing up instrument on it it started to follow the market and i end up with my trading range over here so i managed to participate in this crazy rally even though i was not in front of the computer at that time otherwise if you if you do not uh, or maybe if you forgot to switch on the trailing up instrument then as soon as the price breaches the resistance line this is where the uh, trading helps. So the bot will no longer trade because it is only limited to the boundaries of the trading range. And since we don't have trading on, sorry, trading up here on, that's why it is unable to follow the market rally. And that's why we basically we missed this opportunity to earn even more. So make sure you uh use the trailing up if you want the uh, algorithm to automatically follow the market rally uh, it can be the case for you that you don't want this option to be set because you would rather manually close the board and open a new one with a new trading range based on your bet new better condition so it's it's fully up to you all right it doesn't mean that with the trading up your performance is going to be better no it's just that with the trailing up 
you 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 have to spend less time monitoring the market because with this instrument you ensure that the system follows the market rally in any case all right so maybe you will be sleeping at that time and when it establishes new higher high the the the, the bot will follow the market all right and at, at this time so that's what it takes to uh enable trading up and by the way if you uh, at the time of launching the bot you forgot to set this instruments then you can always go and uh, and uh, select them later so you see cvc trading to bitcoin that's the one we launched now nine minutes ago you can click on view and here you can set take profit stop loss right after you launch this trading configuration and of course you can switch them off so far we have one trade executed open order so oh, everything you need is already here so let's see if we have any interesting questions okay so let me uh since we have a bit well actually we are running out of time but if you still have time i can show you some uh, trading configurations that you can use uh, for some of you who participated in previous webcast it might be already an old strategy but still that's the one I stick to and and they have proven to be successful in my case so uh, the one I prefer is actually the uh, rising channel so when you see the market moving like this it bounces off the support level and reverts from the resistance you you spot the pattern here all right and this pattern name is channel up and you can play with it i mean you can trade on it so as soon as it bounces off from the support successfully it means that the pattern has sustained and you can profit on it so set your stop loss below the support level Set your configuration so that your upper limit price is right up until the re next resistance level and your lower limit price is somewhere around the support line. Stop loss you plot below. So that's a possible configuration that you can use and that's the one that I actually prefer. So as soon as I, I see that the market Let's say it falls like this, and when right after this, I see that it bounces off successfully. So for me, this bounce off is a confirmation that I can enter the market. And with this trading setup, I can enter this market. Otherwise, I would never enter this trade. So as, as soon as I see the successful bounce off, like over here, like bounce off over here and over here. So that was actually the time of the formation then we just skip this one so yeah as you see this successful bounce off this successful bounce off enter somewhere at this level well actually my drawing skills are not good enough but i hope you see my arrows here so yeah that's the level at which you might consider entering the uh, the market with this trading setup so you see your stop loss is very close to the entry that's why your risk is very limited here and that's why i like this trading configuration another one is a triangle symmetrical top which is this one so that's what you see here is the uh, market accumulation that's where buyers and sellers they are fighting with each other and as soon as we see the price breaching resistance up like over here this is gonna be a confirmation that bulls took over bears here and most likely especially if you spot such pattern formations on a rising trend then statistically most likely it will really continue moving even higher all right but 
remember that this is only a statistical analysis and it doesn't mean that it is always guaranteed that on a rising trend when you spot this pattern you spot this bridge of the resistance that it is 100% guaranteed to follow upwards no it's never like that but it's just that statistically it has proven to be relatively successful and even though it is successful make sure you plot stop loss below this formation to limit your potential losses all right so that's the way we trade that's i mean that's the way i trade that's the way i follow the market and that's the way i answer like i i look for entry and exit exit uh price levels for my automated loss all right and you can always analyze your trades in the history so you see so far these are my results and you can analyze which trades were successful and which trade configurations for you have proven to be more successful comparing with other trades so since you have this history column here you can always learn from your mistakes and you can always find your uh, like your strong side so your your best your best uh, trading configurations, your winners, all right? So always analyze your trades after you close them. You can select the, 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 the range for which you've been trading to analyze more. So yeah, and make sure to practice in the demo mode, which is once again a risk-free trading simulator for you. To experiment with virtual money before risking real capital so it is like the best way for you to learn about all of these instruments like stop loss trailing up take profit before risking real money so backtesting once again use it to find your optimal cryptocurrencies to trade and use it to uh, to validate your trading configuration so let's say you want 50 group levels and just on, on let's say on act trading to bitcoin 50 group levels always back test to see if this uh, configuration is optimal so you look at the back test you see that here the market was well actually that's more like the sideways for me so that was 25 percent for this period of time so what about maybe 20 grid levels for the same period so you see slightly different returns so play with this play with this instrument that we have here to find your optimal uh, cryptocurrencies to trade so that then you would be able to diversify your uh, strategies so you can trade spot market all right you can trade futures market which I define as a separate market because of the uh, leveraged opportunities and because of the uh, speculations. Oh, actually, the comp is rising and I really enjoy this. So let's see what's the, the profit as of now. Yeah, so for some reason it's lagging a bit. So yeah, it really takes time for it sometimes, especially because I have uh, bad internet connection right now for some reason so yeah yeah you see it's it's yeah i really like it so futures market and automated bots so these are three ways you can trade cryptocurrencies and you can always create your own strategies on the spot market on futures market and on automated bots and you can use my ready-made strategies which I post here and beats cap you go to block and here you have um, you see automated strategies so these are ready-made strategies that you can use you see channel up the one that I explained to you these for the sideways market so everything is here for you guys to take advantage of so really I worked on it uh, it's uh, time tested these are strategies that have proven to be for me uh, quite successful and you can play with them all right and as soon as you play with them you will end up uh, discovering your own better strategies and that's the way we we grow as as, as experts on you and you can always share your results with our community so that we will always be like 
all united so that we will always end up with best strategies on the market all right so like when we have a very strong community uh, we end up like that's the win-win scenario for all of us so that's why we have all of these instruments here at beatscap to experiment with the demo mode the back testing to find your best strategies to share with the rest if you want so that everyone is in the, in, in the win-win scenario so yeah that's it for today we are really actually running out of time and i hope that you enjoyed this webcast and i hope that um you, you you find this information useful and you can now go straight away to to play with some strategies uh, to to beat this market all right because we are now in the rising market and some altcoins are still lagging behind the bitcoin and maybe they are about to bounce off as well so yeah make sure to empower yourself to embrace yourself with these uh, new instruments that I provided you with today to outperform, to come to, yeah, to to apply optimal risk risk management to beat the market. Mm, let me see the yeah okay. So that's it for today. Uh, if you have some uh, questions left, then feel free to ask them here in the forum. You can also ask them in the community in the Telegram because uh, yeah. That's the way we work, and I always read your comments to to improve the quality of my webcast so that next time you will get more information, more useful information. So thanks for your attention, thanks for your time. I, I really appreciate that. And yeah, enjoy enjoy trading, yeah, and never risk more than you can afford. Make sure you use the stop loss and all available risk management instruments at your disposal to control the risk, all right? And control your emotions. So yeah, see you next time.